first thing you want to do is take a black eyeshadow. Mine is from LA Colors. And I'm taking it onto a shadow brush and I'm going to pat it onto my lid. I'm dragging it down into the inner corner to keep a nice round shape. Next I am taking my Eyes Lips Face Palette and using this dark purple color on an angle blending brush. And I'm going to take that into the crease and the outer corner of my eye and just blend it upward and bring it down into the inner corner. Next I'm taking an angle shadow brush and I'm just going to take that purple on the outer corner again and down on my lower lash line. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit past the middle of my lash line. Next I'm taking the shadow brush again and a shimmery bronzy color just as a highlight and patting that in the middle of my eyelid. And now I'm using the lightest color I have, it's a white, and the brush that it came with, and making a highlight underneath my brow. As you can see, I did my other eye already, and I'm just using my finger to blend it out so it's not so harsh. Next, I'm using the Sexy Curves Full Body Mascara from Rimmel and we're just going to coat your top and bottom lashes. Now it's time for lips. I'm taking a Nivea chapstick just to put some moisture back into my lips and I'm taking my Revlon lipstick it's a matte color, number 10, Why Not? And we're just going to put that all over our lips. Now I am just contouring my face. And I would have painted my nails, but I lost my nail polish. Now for the outfit. First you want to find a nice hat because I have seen a few pictures of him where he wears a hat like that. And he always looks like he's wearing a lot of button ups for nice occasions and I just found this sheer button up shirt. Excuse that stain. I don't know where that came from. And so I would look nice and snazzy like him. I got this leather blazer. I wish I had a tie but I couldn't find one. Then I just put on these black jeggings as well. They're really comfortable. I got them at Marshalls. And then my boots, which I'm extremely proud of. I found them for $18 at this place called Vanity Fair or VF Outlets. I don't know if they're all over the U United States and other places, but I just love them.
And now those of you who want to make it more of a costume, you can take some white face paint and a cosmetic sponge that is wet and start patting it over the places on your face that would normally be the lightest. First I'm just taking it onto my cheeks, and then my nose, and my forehead. Can't really tell it's doing anything since I already look so pale in front of this window, but it's actually working. And then my other cheek. And then down onto my lip and my chin so I don't look like a weirdo with a really pale forehead and cheeks. And now I'm taking the lightest powder I have, the name had come off, and a powder brush and just going to set that makeup with the powder. And then we're going to contour our face even more because his face is really contoured and we're trying to make our face look long so we're going to make the contour come down our face instead of in just the hollows of our cheeks. And then we're going to also contour our temples because he has really contoured temples on his face. And we just want to replicate that. And then into our nose because Manson has a really long nose and we're going to try to replicate that as well. And then our eyes, we're going to make them even more dramatic like his. So we're going to bring the line in underneath our eyebrow and then bring it all the way out like a wing. I'm making it more girly. He usually just makes the inside of his eyes really dark and hollow. But I wanted to make mine more cat-like and girly so that it would be more wearable as a costume. Now we're just taking a black eyeliner and we're going to line our waterline and our tight line. Now for our lips, we're going to make them look very Manson-like and we're going to line the outside of the lips first. He usually makes his lips look a lot bigger than they actually are by lining just outside the lip line. Now we're going to continue lining the bottom of our lips. And then as soon as we have that done, we can start blending in the color to make a gradient like he does. We're just going to pat the color from the inside to the outside, slowly blending it in, keeping some of the red showing. And then this is the final look, very cat-like but still very Manson. And there you go, a Marilyn Manson costume. Hope you like it. Oh my god, it's so hot. <gasps> So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial slash outfit of the day. Keep in mind it was just an inspired look. I know he does things very different a lot of the time. Um, yeah, take a moment to subscribe. Leave me a comment if you'd like. Um, go check out my other pages. They are posted on my channel. And now I'm going to go take this stuff off because I'm sweating.